Okay, folks, we're learning more about Dr. Patel's uh, incredible techniques here. And, uh, Doctor, I know you're, uh, you made a very interesting analogy just a moment ago. When you go into a doctor to have your blood pressure tested, you measure it. And, uh, and I've been to a dentist in the past. You know, they, they uh, asked me to bite my teeth together, and they sort of try to get a feel for, for the different uh, areas of my mouth that are a problem. But could you tell us a little bit about how you actually measure that? Oh, sure. There's a technology available called T-Scan. And T-Scan is designed to measure time and force of vectors when teeth come together. Regardless if you're numb or not numb, if it's before, during, or after a procedure, it gives us an accurate assessment of when teeth come together, what happens. So in front of us, we're looking at a graph of a, a patient recorded this afternoon as to what's happening. So I'll just rewind from the beginning and narrate as to what's happening in this particular situation. And so. When the patient first touches, this is the intensity graph, and we learn from here where the teeth are meeting first and how much force is being applied. Things in blue are normal healthy forces. The rest of the test should look, read like a traffic light. Green is acceptable, and then we can have forces that are in yellow, which is moderate, and then red is really bad or poor for the particular situation. So when we have forces of less than 10%, they start showing up here. When the forces get more than 10%, we actually get a hurricane tracker to help us trace exactly where the force is located. And this helps us put data together. And a patient would come in saying, you know, Dr. Patel, my tooth is sore or it's sensitive to cold, and it's these two teeth. And we can very easily, without any radiation or x-rays, identify, is it because of too much pressure? And certainly these two teeth have too much pressure, and we know that that could be part of the reason why they're having those issues. We can also figure out why teeth are cracking and breaking. We can also look at if there's what's called bilateral simultaneity. In other words, are the right and left side teeth meeting at the same time? And the answer for this particular patient, if I were to stop the movie and have her squeeze together, we notice that 60% of her force is on the left, only 37 is on the right. And so we don't have to guess anymore. What's also interesting is some patients, like this particular patient, also complains about headaches. And so we can literally take that information and we can study from the beginning as to how this works. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. So we'll start again with the same patient and we'll watch what happens. So now we have the ability to look at not only where the teeth meet, but to see how the muscles are operating when the teeth meet. So we can gauge are certain muscles overactive or are the headaches and she has a click and a pop in the right joint. And as we notice here, the right masseter muscle fires at twice that of of the left side, but as we notice the tooth contacts, they're normal. So we can't blame the patient's bite for this. It's her weakness in the joint that's causing the spasming of the right joint. And this is the kind of precise data you want to know before you start fixing teeth and joints and muscles so that way there's no guesswork involved before doing after therapy. Well, Doctor, that's fascinating. And uh, as you can see, the viewers home, you can see how technology now is, is advancing. And of course, Correct. Dr. Patel has the technology here at his offices here in, in, in US-1. So by all means, doctor, uh, could you show us uh, maybe the, sure. the actual... Sure, we'll look at one more test on her, which is her joint test, which we were referring to. So, and this is her joint test, which tells us exactly what's happening. And it begins much like an EKG sweep. You can see that I've marked some episodes that were occurring for this particular patient. And we started overlapping to study the episodes, see what they look like. We can see the anatomy of the waves is identical, it doesn't change, and the location of the episode doesn't change either, it's always at the same location. And so that tells us that there is a problem in that particular joint, and as we can see that the patient actually has discs in both joints that are loose, but it's also the fact that the discs are a little bit torn, so we can look at this in a three-dimensional waveform pattern, and as I indicated to you earlier, that's the kind of energy being spent for to compensate for that joint problem. And now we can predict, looking at the joint, the bite, and the muscles as to what's happening with the patient without having to do any guesswork. Well, that's fascinating, uh, Dr. Patel. I know you're interested in bringing the whole physiology of the, of the mouth together. And, it's uh, interesting, you know, there's uh, BioResearch is the company that makes this particular technology. And they award a mastership in biodental biometrics when you met certain criteria. There's only 30 people in the world that have a dental mastership in dental biometrics, not one of them. And so it, it is one of my passions. Well, we can tell that you're very passionate about this and 
we just want to bring this information out to the public so they can see what's available to them right here in, in uh, Little Brevard County. We've got one of the best in the world. So thank you, Doctor. It's fascinating, and uh, we we'll look forward to sharing some more of this information with our viewers. Thank you. My pleasure.